The Royal Albert is one of the few venues left that has sort of this like incredible punk lineage. Everyone's played here. It's one of those clubs like the Marquee in London, CBGB's in New York. It's one of the original places to go see punk in Canada. I think what's remarkable about this place is its longevity, kind of in this weird outpost in the middle of the prairies. It's like you come out of Ontario and then suddenly everything gets flat and then you drive into the Albert parking lot. As soon as the Albert would come up, I was like, did you stay there? The deal with the Albert is you played the hotel, you stayed in the hotel. It's not how was the show, it's really not did you sell some good merch or how was the crowd, did, you know, what's the PA like, it's like, did you stay there? And I remember there was just splatters of blood like on the ceiling and uh, at that point that's when I was getting kind of scared and someone killed me. That could be a real eye-opener to be in a downtown welfare hotel in the middle of Winnipeg playing rock and roll to a bunch of crazies at night. Winnipeg's not a pretty city, and people that like it here, you know, like, we like it. But most people that come through, they can't see that, because you have to, like, you gotta be able to scrape the shit off your windshield and see what's underneath. It's cold here in winter, there's not a lot to do. And if you're not getting in trouble, you're playing in a band. And it's interesting that it is so tucked away behind all these, like, huge corporate skyscrapers and towers and and yet if any of these people that work there nine to five had any idea what was going on here. God has a plan. City of Winnipeg is gonna stop it. 